So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0522 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0522 code? Well, it's the engine oil pressure sensor switch low input. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer is trying to read the oil pressure and it's having problems reading some of the sensors. There could be multiple sensors sometimes. And so it's having an issue with this. I have to be troubleshooting to know why. And whenever you have a code about anything about engine oil pressure, it's always a good idea to go check the oil. Be sure it's at the correct level. Be sure it's not really super dirty or anything like that because that can affect oil pressure and can sometimes throw off these sensors. And so the main cause of this is going to be the oil pressure sensor. It's going to have wiring. You're going to have some kind of problem in the wiring possibly or the oil level or dirty or anything like this. And when it comes to Hondas, it can vary on the oil pressure sensors. There could be multiple ones sometimes. There could be a VTEC one and there could also be rocker arm oil pressure switches. There could be two of those. It could vary. You're going to have to Google your particular Honda year and engine type to find out exactly what's going on with that. You know, many cars don't have the VTEC system, so they won't have to worry about that. They'll just have a regular oil pressure switch on the engine block. and It'll have like one wire going to it, but other ones will have the VTEC system and they'll have like three wires going to this plus and plus these standard ones on the engine block somewhere. So it could really vary. And so it's always going to be a good idea to Google your particular engine and find out what's going on with the engine oil pressure switches on that engine because many Hondas do have the VTEC system and they have an oil pressure switch real close to that usually. And, and so the first thing to do is Google your engine, year, and oil pressure switches and go through and locate them all and start to check them. And once you locate them, check out the wiring. Be sure to check all the wiring going back because this code is more related to like a wiring issue than anything else. It could be a bad sensor. So they could be bad, so they might need to be replaced. The first thing to do is check the wiring. Be sure there's no opens or shorts at any of the, of any of the wires. Be sure they got good connections and everything's plugged in good and anything along these lines. Also, you, you might want to check for a fuse. These whole circuits might be on a fuse somewhere that's blown. So that's always a possibility. So definitely something to keep in mind. And these oil pressure switches, if you have to replace them, they're not expensive or nothing. They're low cost parts. Jump over on Amazon and give you an idea how much they cost. It looks like they're ranging around 20, 30, $30 or so. They're not high cost items or nothing. So what do you do if you have a Honda with the P0222 code? Well, first thing to do, check the engine oil. Be sure it's at the correct level. Be sure it doesn't look dirty because that could cause oil pressure problems. Next thing to do, Google your engine and year and check out how many oil pressure switches that you have located on there. Because you, if you have a VTEC system, you're probably going to have two to three. If you don't, you might likely just have one, but you have to find that out. Next, check all the wiring. Be sure all the wiring looks good. Check for any open shorts, anything like that. Check the harnesses. Be sure those are all plugged in good. And be sure you don't have any blown fuses. If the wiring all looks good, then go ahead and replace all the sensors. And that should solve the problem. If that doesn't solve the problem, then you likely have something blocking the oil pressure inside the engine. Like the VTEC system, that could get clogged up sometimes, especially if old oil has been running through the engine at some point. So you might want to take that apart, look into cleaning that up. And then if you really get into it, it could even go into like something like clogged passageways or the oil pumps not pumping correctly. But that's kind of getting rare right there. That usually doesn't happen. Usually it'll be one of the other things first. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P0222 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.